pour a cold one and sit back for an all-new episode of Pints and Quartz, presented by Craft Beer Nation. Now with me, uh, we have Julia Herr. She's the <laughs> she's a representative from the Brewers Association. But your official title is Craft Ooh. Beer Director. Craft, craft Beer Program Director beer. at the Brewers Association. Yep. Awesome. So, so this, Hi, Julia. This is this is this is your party. It, I, I, yeah, I've been I've been part of Saver since we started it, and it, I'm proud to be a staffer with the VA that helps put this on. This is our party. It's some of the best the Brewers Association delivers. 2,000 people a night, um, uh, 156 pairings, 76 brewers. This is it. This is yeah. the way you want a beer event to run. So it's it's not just your party. This is the party. This is the the preeminent craft beer food pairing festival show party, whatever you want to call it. In the whole country, or maybe arguably in the world. That you're, you're. I was about to finish your sentence. <laughs> so, um, with the exception of, I think last year, you guys have always had this event here in DC, right? Um, you, yeah. Well, uh, two, three. We were here last year, so two years ago was okay. New York. Yep. It was in New York. Yep. And so, was there an, a, a particular impetus to bring it back to DC? Or? Well, we had um, when we did that. It was the Preppers Conference was also in Washington DC. So right. we didn't want to have two events. I mean, we got to share the love and brewers that are of the region that we have events in, like Great American Beer Festival in Denver, or where Craft Brewers Conference moves, which is another of our events, or American Home Brewers Association, which is in San Diego next week. Yeah. It's good to share the love. So we didn't want two main events, and that's why we went to New York. And, and New York's the media capital and the food capital, so we gave it a shot. Never know, we might be back there another time, but you know, Sabres definitely got a home with D.C. It's it's a very welcoming group here for us. Absolutely. Um, anybody? Does anybody on the panel have a, a question for, I guess, Gil? Gil, can we get our screen back? There we go. Anybody have a question for Julia? Well, Come on, just guys. Wants, I know, just somebody, want to say hi real somebody, quick. I know, hi, Julia. Hi. Hi. It's great having you here. I'm so happy that you agreed to go ahead and do this for us. And, like, thank you a lot. Um, I had a few people asking about how you actually got started with the Brewers Association and, like, or what were you doing before you end up working with them? Sure. I mean, I'll tell you the short version of the story, but I'm a home brewer at heart. And homebrewing was a big deal. I'm a broadcast journalism major in college. Had a job at CNN Washington DC bureau, so I grew up in this area. But I didn't like it, and I quit. Traveled the country, did breweries and, and backcountry national forest BLM land for almost a year. And on that trip, I was like, "Yep, I want to work for a brewery." And then after that trip, I worked my way to living in Boulder, Colorado, where the association is based. Um, and I had also volunteered at the Great American Beer Festival. So that's how I got started with the BA, is, is literally volunteering at the fest. And so you've been with them for how long now? Um, probably about 10 years. Awesome. Yep. And the craft beer program, What I mean, I'm the main spokesperson for the segment. And... Uh, it got started under Ray Daniels, who, before he started the Cicerone program, was at the Brewers Association. And when he left to start the Cicerone program, that's when I was fortunate enough to, to take over his role. So how do you guys improve upon this every year? I mean, it's, it's almost like you keep setting the bar, but you got to come right back and do it even better next well, time. Well, for Saver, we keep tweaking little things. We've evolved the caterers. Um, we've evolved how we do the test tasting for this. Uh, you know, we had um, over 100 beers for the test tasting, where 75% of the beers being served tonight were tasted in advance. We have a sheet on craftbeer.com um, that gives you the actual sheet that we used during the test tasting that had chefs, Cicer Cicerones, and BA staff tasting these beers, writing out the flavor profiles, writing emotions that these beers elicited, and then from there, our executive chef and the um, culinary consultant team writes the menu. So okay. the way we, the test tastings work has been evolved. And, and who's the who's the, the uh, executive chef for? Chef Adam Dooley is the executive chef for the Brewers Association. And he has a large task when it comes to savor because, I mean, there are a lot of breweries here. There are a lot of tables here, and, and everyone has these different pairings. So... He had to come up with a whole lot of different recipes. There's um, every there's give or take two to five, maybe some some recipes here serve two to six beers. So we do have duplicates, and that's intentional. We want people to find the same food item with different beers in in the hall here tonight at the National Building Museum. Um, but yeah, 56 original recipes were written for Savor, and um, I mean the protein mix is incredible. Like it, it the, they're using very creative ingredients, everything from frogois 
quail, um, octopus, you name it, it is on the menu tonight. Awesome. This is fantastic. I, I saw one of, one of the tables, I think it was um, at um, the Devil's Backbone table, they had a dish that was a potato chip with, with like some fancy super looking stuff on top of it. I, I can't remember. Awesome. Was, I'll go out they, there and try. We, we, they, they, we, they, we got some posers behind you guys, by the way. Who, yeah, somebody like tased those photo, guys. Who's photobombing <laughs> right photo -bombing, now? Yeah, some guys are photobombing. Oh, they ran away. I'll take them down. Yeah, take them down. <laughs> hey, hey, Julia, I had, I had a question. Um, is is um, is Bob P still there? The Brewers Association. Yes, he is. Yeah, I uh, actually met Bob uh, totally by random at my favorite Belgian beer bar in Shanghai, Kaiba, of all places, wow. like um, probably three years ago. And uh, you know, we were talking. He was talking about how you guys were trying to promote. American craft beer in, in other markets like China. Do you, do you have any update on how successful that's been or, or not? Yeah, it's been very successful. We have an export development program. Um, about 75 craft brewers are members of that. And um, I would say in total, I mean, some craft brewers are exporting not in our program, but 100 craft brewers in the U.S. are probably exporting to at least 150 countries. And that is pretty powerful stuff. Um, there is demand overseas for the small and independent producers' products here. And you know you're kind of uh, exporting a little piece of authenticity from the U.S. overseas, and it's beautiful to see. It is growing continually. Absolutely, awesome. Love craft beer spreading around the world. Hi, American Julia. craft beer. At that. I see so. a familiar face there. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Me too. What's up, guys? So. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, absolutely. Um, I know you you are you got to be incredibly busy right now, making sure everything kind of goes. I get smoothly. to go up and introduce um, Ron and his uh, his salon right now. So there's 18 private um, educational sessions. We call them salons. Um, they're very intimate. Some of them are just 30 people sitting on couches, really just hanging out, almost in the living room scene with these brewers. And then auditorium tomorrow night. I'm presenting doing beer dinner and epiphanies uh, with Jeremy Cowan from Schmaltz and Doug Constantiner from Society, and we're going to do a mini beard dinner in Saver during that salon. Oh, so man. The additional seminars are a whole other piece of this that are kick-ass. So you have salon and you have tastings, right? Yeah, private tastings, the 30-piece okay. important one, and okay. the salons are the bigger ones. Well, once again, thank you for your time. You're crazy busy. Give us 10 minutes of your time. We really appreciate thank you. Thank you, guys. Happy and hanging out, people. And this is Pints and Quartz presented by Craft Beer Nation.